Welcome back. It's time for another Rabe Review. Now, a new series dropped on Hulu on November 15th called Dollface. Now, it stars one of my favorite actresses right here. This is Kat Dennings, who I loved in Two Broke Girls on CBS. Now, I have mixed feelings on the show, which I will explain in just a minute. But for those of you not familiar with the premise of this show, take a look at the trailer. Rancheros. I don't love you anymore. We've hung out together for half a decade. Anything else in my life that completely revolves around you? That's my sweatshirt, but I don't need Forget it, it. I lost myself in this relationship, and now things are getting weird. 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 What? You never seen an old cat lady before? If you're here, it means you need some help getting back. Back to spending time with other women. Women need each other now more than ever. Turn your back on them, you'll end up alone. Oh my god, Jeremy broke up with you. I want us all to be friends again. Are you crazy? I tried for years to get you to go out more. Go out more. Go out more. Welcome to America's favorite game show. Should she go? I don't know how to act in a big group of girls. Here's two second chances for old friends. But this is gonna be more fun for me if we're all drunk. Oh my god. god. This is crazy. I didn't realize you all knew each other. What do you mean? We just met. I accidentally liked my ex-boyfriend's new girlfriend's Instagram. Did you at least unlike the photo? Yes. I unliked it, then I liked it again. <laughs> but then I unliked it. Very cool. Are you insane? It's super tragic. <laughs> hey, Dollface. Uh, don't. What? Don't call me Dollface. Yes, girl. Okay, after I watched like the first two episodes, I came to the office and I was talking to my producers about it because we love talking TV, and I told them how much I hated the show. And yet, I kept watching it. And I kept watching it. It was getting slammed by all the critics, but yet somehow, I could not stop watching, and I've watched all 10 episodes of this, and I don't know how I feel about it. I am dead center in the middle of the road on this show. Okay, here's, it's really about women who lose contact, they're good friends, they lose contact because they get in relationships and they put their men before their friends. So they're trying to reconnect their relationships and how girlfriends are supposed to have each other's back and girl power, which I like. But it's so weird, it's just a weird show because then, uh, Jules, played by Kat Dennings, her inner voice is a weird lady with a cat head who drives a bus and then hosts game shows. And it's like her inner voice. It's so weird. Maybe they're trying to say that if you don't have girlfriends, you'll end up like an old cat lady with lots of cats. I don't know. Also, the stereotype of millennial women, it's kind of the stereotype. I mean, there's a little bit of a kernel of truth in it, but it's really kind of over the top with the millennials, how vapid they might appear to be or superficial. So I didn't necessarily like that aspect. So I watched all 10, then I went to see what more critics were saying and they are slamming it, talking about how much they hate it. So here, I'm not gonna say I hate it, but I'm not gonna say I love it because it's kind of fun, it's over the top, it's a great like ensemble cast. I will say this, Brenda's song as Madison is so funny. She is very good and very likable. Shay Mitchell as Stella, fantastic. Esther Pavinsky as Izzy, who works with Jules at this crazy place. I can't even tell you what they sell, but it's like over the top, like what you would think of like a new millennial type business where everything has to have a, an aura. They go around throwing around staplers if it has a bad aura. I'm like, what are you talking about? It's, so, it's terrible. But overall, I like the cast and their chemistry together. I like the aspect of girlfriends being girlfriends and, you know, coming together. And will she get back with him? Will she not? I don't know. Here's what I'm going to say. If you have time this long holiday weekend, binge the show, then email me and tell me what you think. Because I'm telling you, I don't love it, I don't hate it, but I couldn't stop watching it. What does that say? I don't know. I've never been so indifferent about a show I've reviewed on this show before because there are aspects I like and there are aspects I don't like, and yet it's fun, and it's, there's one-liners, and there's a crazy cat lady, and I love animals, and then there's this apartment she moves into that's all kitschy from like the 1950s, and I love the set design. I'm telling you, I do not know how I feel about this show. So. 
if it's a thumbs up or thumbs down, it's in the middle. I'm giving it the middle of the highway because I like Kat Dennings and I like the cast. So there is my very mediocre review of Dollface on Hulu. Now, I would like to move on and bring on some very special guests. You're used to one rabe in this rabe review segment, but I feel like sometimes three rabes are better than one. Because literally, I could step off, and this graphic right here would fit both of them. I would like to bring on my nephew, Riley Rabe, and my niece, Chloe Rabe, who are also TV aficionados. Welcome to the show. Hello. You're going to have to talk louder than that, Riley. <laughs> Hello. Uh, OK, so yesterday at lunch, before Cassandra's show, we were having discussions about television. I voiced my concerns about how boring I thought Stranger Things was. You can see the graphic right here. Stranger Things season three has happened. Riley, you gave me some really great analysis on seasons one, two, and three, how I thought it was the same kind of conflict in every single season, same monster. You had a good take on that. Yeah. Okay, so like season one, it was like the grown up Demogorgon, which is like this monster that's got like really weird face. Okay. Not that, not that one, no, okay. That one. So season one is a, you said a grown-up, what? Yeah, it's like a grown-up Demogorgon. And then season two is like, it had like kids, so they were younger and they're called like Demodogs, because it was just like their name for them. Okay, so Demodogs is season two. Yes. Okay, yeah. but then season three, where they were all at the mall. Didn't you find it was still the Upside Down and it was still those night monsters trying to come? Yeah, but they still, they had different conflicts. Like they had, um, like in the first season they were finding their friend that they lost to the Demogorgon. Okay. And then yeah. in season two, they're just trying to close the gate, which brought the Demogorgons in. Okay. So what was the conflict in season three? Season three, they closed it, but then the Russians came back and opened it. Why does it always come back to the Russians? Always, Riley, it's the Russians. So now at the end, spoiler alert, if you don't want to know anything, spoiler alert, the, the Russians at the end of season three, there was kind of a cliffhanger. What are your thoughts on that ending? I think Hopper is still alive. You think Hopper is still alive? Yes. Now, it, Chloe, do you agree with that? Yes. What do you take? What do you? What is your take on Stranger Things? What do you mean? By that? Like, what do you like it? Do you hate it? What do you? What do you think about it? it? You love it. What do you love about it? I don't know. You don't know? Do you like Eleven? <laughs> yes. Can I ask you, Riley, a quick question? Yes. By season three, would you not have thought that Eleven could actually put a complete sentence together? Um, I think after she lost her powers, I think she was a little bit like scared because she didn't know what was going to happen. So, see, because I just feel like you know she was saying words individually, and I just like, make a straight sentence. But Riley and Chloe, thank you for your uh, insight. If I'm ever sick, I'm going to ask you to come and take over my rave review. Okay? All right. Thanks so much. All right. Coming up, they're going to be playing AM sketches with us. Don't go anywhere. We'll be right back. Thanks, guys. Good job.